So I finally got the Hush, which is the Gambit Pinnacle weapon for Season of Opulence. And the way you obtain this weapon is by going to the Drifter and getting the quest called Hush Little Baby. This has three parts to it. One of them is going to be a bitch to get, not going to lie. But to start this quest, you have to get 1,000 kills and 500 precision kills. Both of these need to be with bows. Then you need to get Gambit medals. The first two are honestly extremely easy. Just play Gambit or Gambit Prime. I chose Gambit simply because I enjoy it a little more than Gambit Prime. And for some horrid reason, there's a lot of botting happening in Gambit Prime right now. So there's that. So after the kills, this is where the shit's going to get real annoying. The few medals I was going for was first to block, which just means go in, kill five people, get five motes, run back to the bank, and you have to be the one that banks first in the round. This is why I chose Gambit since it has two rounds. And I can get the medal. I can I can get the medals for those two rounds. Then after that, I went for Killmonger, Thrillmonger, and Overkillmonger, which you ha you have to get 20, 40, then 80 kills all in a single round. There are a lot of medals you can get. Some easy, some hard. Obviously, the harder ones are going to get you more points. At least that's what I was looking at. I noticed that killing everyone when you're invading was a nice one to get, especially if they have 10 motes or higher. Essentially, if they all have 15 motes, then that's four mode of bin medals that you could get. So after all of this, how do I feel about the weapon? Was it worth it? Am I going to mow down legions of enemies? Well, I'm not going to lie. I, it's kind of whatever, honestly. I love the gun. It's fun. Am I going to use it for Gambit? Probably not. Why? Well... Let's start with the weapon. So the main perk, Archer's Gambit, which if you hit precision shots while hip firing, you get a massive draw speed for a short time. This is what really sucks and is pretty cool about it. Like, yeah, once you proc Archer's Gambit, it's fun. Hell, you can even aim down with it and you'll start you'll start the perk and then you can just like aim down with aim down sights and just go to ham. And then like at the last second, you could like just hip fire one one guy in the head and then he just immediately start it that's how i've been using it but for gambit where you the more you kill the faster you are to winning using a bow just feels slow especially if you don't pair it with something like uh an assault rifle a pulse rifle hell even some smgs for me a standard loadout for gambit would e would be either a pulse rifle or an assault rifle for my prim primary a shotgun, a sniper for my secondary, or an LMG or rocket launcher for my heavy. And that's not even looking into exotics that I could be using like Sweet Business, Huckleberry, Risk Runner, all these great for ad kills. Le Monarch, Yoden, Arb Arbalist, Truth, Thunderlord, great for invaders or invading for kills as well. There are so many options for kills with one of them being the pinnacle assault rifle from gambit that just makes this bow feel kind of weak in my opinion i think its main weakness is that the perk kind of feels useless like don't get me wrong it's more dps since shooting faster means deader enemies i know but let's look at the pinnacle weapons from gambit the other ones breakneck probably being the best out of all of them this weapon has Rampage, and its unique perk being Onslaught increases the weapon's rate of fire the more you stack the Rampage. And it, it has a hidden perk, which basically buffs your reload speed. And with the Rampage perk that increases the Rampage duration, makes it really fucking good. My only complaint is that I wish its base damage was a bit better, but I understand why it's not. Still though, this weapon is fun and it's actually useful because of the D DPS increase that you get when you proc Onslaught. Let's look at 21% Delirium, being a strong choice as well. Its two perks are Overflow, with, which if you pick up special or heavy bricks, it reloads your weapon up to 206 if you don't have uh, the magazine mod on it. The second one being Killing Tally, which is what makes the gun really nasty. Kills increase this weapon's damage until it is stolen or reloaded. This goes up to three times. So let's say you have you get that heavy brick and get up to 206 shots, then kill three dregs. Now you have an LMG with 203 shots with bonus damage. So with both of these weapons being this good, 
the hush pales in comparison. Like I said before, I actually do like the hush, but it's not going to be a weapon that I will have on my hunter all the time. And my hunter is my main. It's going to be that weapon that I fuck around with from time to time, but for now it joins my other pinnacle weapons in the vault like Oxygen SR3 and Loaded Question. Especially now that I got the Tyranny of Heaven, which is the last wish bow, I'm probably just going to be using that. Honestly, uh, for the amount of time you're going to have to be putting in Gambit for this weapon, I just wish it was a little stronger. I do feel like it has potential. A, an exotic, There's a lot of exotic bows that we... Or, there's two. Two? Three. There's three. There are, we have exotic bows that are cool. It's just, I feel like bows themselves are just kind of like really whatevers. But, I don't know how they would be able to fix this gun hush I I honestly don't know like I I don't even have any like suggestions for it because I can't really think of anything that that would have still make it a legendary like I was thinking like maybe maybe you can shoot three shots once you proc a headshot but like how would that work would that work like it's it's really hard like i really i really hope they fix this gun because it just feels kind of weak like it really does especially like i was so hyped to get it and then when i got it started using it i was like huh like don't get me wrong like i knew i was not gonna like this gun and it's probably my attitude towards it but i just don't like that once i proc it with a he headshot while i'm hip firing it it gets faster like i i don't know if like if it's just me, like, am I being, like, overly thought? Like, am I just too thinking too much about it? Because, hell, even some, like, enemies, to get their headshot, it's a bitch. Like, Vex, Vex is a bitch to get headshot sometimes. So, for me, the weapon's weak. Uh, I'm never probably going to ever use it. I'm probably just going to keep Tyranny of Heaven because at least that has a Firefly and that's useful sometimes. I don't know. Bows are kind of just bad for me. Like, I love bows, but at the same time, I hate them. Like, the only bow I ever use is um, Lay Monarch, and that's because it's really good. Like, poison, that's it's good. But let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong? Is the Hush actually really good? Is it actually godly? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below, and I will see you guys later.